If you're considering purchasing a Wallabot visual stud finder for your home, you're probably wondering what the differences are between the Wallabot DIY2 and the DIY2M. When it comes to physical size, the devices are identical. The process for connecting your Wallabot to your smartphone is identical for both the DIY2 and 2M. Both devices require that you calibrate them using the app and your Wallabot against the wall before you do your scans. Now, as we scan my test wall with the DIY2M, you'll notice that it gives you a visual view of what's behind the wall. You'll notice it finds the wooden stud, it finds the electrical wire, it finds a copper pipe, another wooden stud, a galvanized pipe, and a PEX pipe, and then another wooden stud. And on the screen, you will see the visualization of exactly what is behind the wall. Now, as we follow the same process with the DIY2, you will notice that it does the exact same thing as we scan the test wall. It notices the wooden stud, the electrical wire, the copper pipe, another wooden stud, the galvanized pipe, the PEX pipe, and one more wooden stud, all with a visual representation of what's behind the wall. As you can see from the scans, both devices do a great job on what I would call pretty standard wall in a newer construction home. But there are two differences between these two devices, and with the DIY2, it has a little something that's called expert mode. If you're a beginner DIYer or you're just looking for a basic visual depiction of the fact that something is behind the wall, the DIY2M is going to be a solid choice. However, if you feel like you could benefit from the expert mode and that radar picture of what's behind the wall, the DIY2 is going to be a great selection for you. And there is one more difference, and that is price. The DIY2 is typically about $30 more than the DIY2M, so if you're looking to save a little bit of cash, the DIY2M is going to be a solid option for you. But if you feel like you need that expert mode included, add the additional $30 and get your DIY2. Whichever one you go with, you're going to get a solid stud finder. I have both, I use both, and I love them both equally.